Hey guys, that's the final video of the series. Herpes, my final thought about it. Let's go. Oh, well, I made a big review video, which is right here or there. But, you know, my mind didn't change a lot. I changed my enclosure and I just added the substrate and didn't change the substrate because I wanted to try it like this and so my snakes are also comfortable with all the changes and, you know, the same thread, you know, whatever. And um, I don't have that much to say about it. It, you know, I'm talking keeping wise. I'm, th I'm not talking about the, like a breeder here. I'm talking about the keeper, okay? So, um, maybe we'll just like, you know, say things that, you know, something some people won't be, you won't agree with me, but yeah. So the first thing is, of course, this substrate is like, you know, a little bit, let's go straight first, straight with the negative and then go with the positive. Okay. So the first thing is positive, I, I, a negative I have to say is that, you know, with time, what I had with other sub, I had the problem that I had with other substrate is that it becomes dusty, a little more dusty with time, every single time. Okay. Another thing I have to say negative about it is that I sprayed my enclosure from December, maybe January up to almost March, almost every single day. That's what I did because I wanted to have a kind of rain season in my enclosure to if. I can be clear for you if that can make sense for you and yeah so the thing is of course you know if it rains outside the ground will be wet but it will absorb normally we're not always in Belgium and it's not like all, everywhere it's not like in Belgium where the ground can't absorb because it rains so much but here my problem is here we are I, I didn't um, make things well i didn't spray anyone yesterday because yesterday was eating day for him him and the two three there four there but they didn't eat so yeah i'm filming in february if you want to know so um yeah so the thing is that i um when i'm spray let's see here when i spray it's it doesn't stay really wet really long okay which the problem here is, it stays wet. And you know that a snake that is in a wet condition is not the best idea. I think he wants to go out, so I will just grab him and we'll see what, how he does, you know, because that snake, I woke him up for a video and yeah, he, he, he woke up, okay. So here you can come, but don't disturb me for the video. Yep. I woke her up also for a video for a little bit, but yeah, she she was not she she messed up with my microphone. Watch the video. Um, uh, if you want, if your snake if your child wants a snake, watch that before or something like this. I'm filming on the same day if you want to know. But the thing is, yeah, it it stays wet a lot more than the other one. So, you know, I have fog and all that shit. You know, that's not super great when you keep snakes in there, and yeah. But of course, it dries up with time. That's normal. It's not like it stays. Wet. It doesn't stay. Wet. Yeah. So it's it's it it's it stays wet. It dries up. It dries up because normally it should dry up with time. But yeah. So I go in there and there another substrate because there and there. Yeah, dude. It's 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 awful. You know, I don't have to spray them anymore. But yeah. So the thing is, um, yeah, that's something a little bit like difficult also when i sprayed i had to put that wrench out of this enclosure because this brain was rotting because of how not uh, absorbing it was it was a little bit absorbing but not that much but not that much so yeah i needed that i need to take that wrench out because this the the, the the thing was rotting and i don't want my my snakes having a rotten uh, wrench in there, so I put the trunk, the, the half trunks in there, cork barks in there, so they still have something. But yeah, and I don't have that problem here. And yeah, so the thing is also, the thing is also that, 
you know, when I'm, um, you know, the, not the positive, maybe, maybe let's go to the positive because, yeah, there is not that much negative to say about it yet. Um, then what we have here as positive is that it's great looking first. It's great, great, super great looking. I, I'm holding him like, like I'm holding a, a bag, but yeah, no, that's a snake. That's not a bag. That's a snake. Okay. It's just a little bit disturbing because he can't stop moving, but yeah, so, um, I'm just like keeping it. It's great looking, you know, it's super soft. It's great for your snake. It's soft for small snakes. You know, I won't keep that, get, get that for him down because they're too big. Look at this snake, dude. That's out there. Wow, she's out. And she's going back to the hot side. Yeah, but whatever. So here, you know, you have that great looking. You have actually, you know, it absorbed quite well it doesn't absorb rain if it makes sense like spraying like i did you know because i sprayed i spray quite a lot you know because i'm quite a lot depending on the day but yeah so um yeah the, the thing is it's absorbed quite well when it comes to poop when it comes to pee it absorbs quite well the only thing i saw on um, here on Utahime, a little bit of Kawaki and a little, 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 little bit on Sarada over there that is in chat, so I won't disturb her. I thought I would disturb her because she's in chat, so not. So, yeah, I, and I think I already have said everything on the other video. That was my final thought. Would I I, I, as I said, would I recommend it? I would say he's really comfortable that way. I would say uh, most of the time, yeah. As a keeper, of course, I, I can do this. As a keeper, of course, I'm not talking here about breeding. I'm talking about keeping. As a keeper, yes, you can. Be aware that it's not like if you have a super tropical snake like a green tree python, like a Nemora tree boa, or something that needs to be, uh, you know, sprayed. It he's chilling there. It's not like you will have a great experience with it because it won't work maybe as great as some other substrate, you know. But what you can have expect is to have a... Wait, I'm a little bit like having a little bit difficult time with him. So yeah, you, you, can, ha you can totally have it. If your snake is not a snake that you will need to spray a lot, you know, and yeah, that will make a lot of water splash splash everywhere. Okay, whatever though, it's water, whatever, whatever. If it's water, if it's pee or whatever, if it's too much, it, nah, it has its limits. Everything has its limits, of course, but yeah, here are some limits. If you want something great looking, soft or small snake, yeah, if you want something great looking and small and soft or big snake, yeah, but yeah. I prefer bigger chunk for bigger snakes, but that's my opinion. That's not yours. So yeah, what's the final note of that of that substrate? I would say, hmm, I said seven and a half, eight out of ten. I think in the other video, because now preparation, you want wait, preparation, you want save money, okay? Because it requires a lot of water. Uh, when it comes to keeping it great, absorbing, it's great. It absorbs really well. Uh, it has its limits, of course, if you spray. But it's still pretty good as a keeper, of course, I'm saying. So, if your snake is not a snake or reptile, is not a reptile that needs a lot of spraying, it's great. If it needs a little more of spraying, it might have some limits. It might have some limits, but yeah, you know, so I think like, you know, in the end, would I go to that substrate for, for example, my adult ball pythons? Nah. Would I go there for a baby corn snake, baby carpet, baby ball python even? Yes. Yes, yes. I have to consider some things, but maybe yes. Okay. Um, I will go maybe for another one, but that's behind me and 
I don't know if you see it, but and uh, the other thing is that you know I will will I keep buying this one because it I will say in the near future not because it doesn't work the way I need it to work like I said in the other one so I will go with other ones but it's not because it doesn't suit me that it won't suit you so you can always try if you want that's only my experience and yeah if I had to say an objective note I would go maybe on a yeah seven and a half out of ten because it's not perfect and is it worth it depending on what you want but i would say most of the time it would it is like worth it if it's every single time nah every single situation nah but most of the time yeah so for a lot of things yeah and so i think that's it guys i hope you enjoyed don't forget to like subscribe comment and share don't forget to uh join brickies anxiety pass group don't forget to support uh your sark and don't forget my Instagram is in the description, guys, if you want to have updates on my snakes and stuff. I hope to see you on the next.